Hello everyone. Today in this video lesson we are going to talk about electric charges and introduction. We know this is all done in a chapter called something like electrostatics. It was done in a chapter called the title electrostatic means electro means it is regarding the charges we are talking about the charges. In the state of rest statics means in the state of rest. So, in this chapter we are going to talk about the charges in the state of rest their properties and its further applications. It has been observed right from the earlier days that charges are of two types. There are two types of charges one is a positive charge and the other one is a negative charge. To explain this at a atomic level or subatomic level we can identify that uh, an atom consists of nucleus inside the nucleus there is neutrons there are protons and then there are orbits around in that orbits electrons are revolving. We know this proton is having a positive charge this electron is having a negative charge and we know these protons are strongly bonded inside the nucleus protons are inside the nucleus. There is a nuclear force because of which they are very much strongly attached with the nucleus. So, it is not possible for the protons to come out for the sake of the charging one body in any of the cases. Therefore, it is the electrons which are loosely associated with the nucleus particularly the electrons at the outer orbits called something like valence electrons are loosely balanced loosely attached with the nucleus and whenever a circumstance comes they are always ready to move from one place to another place. Therefore, charges transfer when one body is rubbed with another body this is the way of charge of the transfer of the charge that is called something like by friction. So, simply means uh, when one body is rubbed with the other body like uh, when a glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth. When one body rubbed with the other. So, what is going to transfer from one body to another body is electrons gets transferred. Be careful to understand that one body lose the electrons and the other body gains the electrons. Here charge is conserved concept is very much applicable such that charge is neither created nor destroyed it just transfers from one body to that of the other body. Therefore, the body generally the bodies are neutral in nature. What do you mean by neutral in nature? They have number of the positive charges equal to the number of negative charges. So, they do not have any extra charges, but when you rub one body with the other body because of the friction some electrons gets transferred from one body to another body. Some electrons get transferred from one body to another body. So, body who gained electrons will have now extra electrons will have extra electrons. So, it is said to be negatively charged it is said to be negatively charged. As it has got few electrons its mass also increases slightly mass also increases slightly as much of the mass of the electrons that got into the body because of the transfer of course, it is a slight value. There is another body who lost electrons the body who lost electrons will now have extra positive charges will now have extra positive charges because it has lost electrons to somebody therefore, it is said to be positively charged it is said to be positively charged. 
that is how bodies get charged and of course, its mass slightly decreases because it has lost some of the electrons. All this concept tells you very clearly that uh, charge is uh, conserved, it is neither created nor destroyed, it just transfers from one body to another body. And be careful when you say transfer, what get transferred is uh, electrons from one body to another body never the protons because protons are very strongly associated with the nucleus they are not free to come from one body to another body this is the basics of the charge we will continue this discussion in the further posts thank you